and it's a little bit heavy. <laughs> Just a bit. Well, according to the box, it's 71 pounds. That's yeah, a big, and big machine. I don't want to hurt carry yourself. That. All the way through yeah, the house. Yeah, we'll be able to breathe for an hour. And I have a hand truck. Yes. So. So it looks like this is the top. Yes. So if you set it down. And somewhere on this. Oh, it's on this side. Do not throw this box away. Okay, hang on to it just in case we. So we will not. We'll put it with the other boxes and not throw away out in the garage. This, this is where the money is, it's, it's right? It's exciting. Yeah. You do that so that flap doesn't come back at me. Oh, that's a good idea, because it will. And hopefully there's no dings on my machine. Oh, parts on top of parts. You have homework. I do. I'm gonna need to study that. Those are what go on that. Okay, to make it go back and forth. Back wheels, front wheels. And back. Hardware. Hardware. <laughs> Encoders. Display. I'm going to think that we might have to get some more instructions out here. Want me to stop and help you get it out? Well, or? those guys get attached to this somehow, so I need to do some more reading. Okay. We will stop and finish again. Okay, we've got all the parts out. Alright, that's not going to work. I'm do it this way. Yeah. Are you filming? I am. I started, okay. whether you're ready or not. Well, I guess I'm not, but I'm okay. going to slide that right there like that. I'm gonna hang on. So okay. these ears hang over. Okay. So the back wheel. Just back. <laughs> on the back with the set yeah, screws. Yeah. Right here. Oh, is that loose or it looks kind of? It just that's how it fits. It's okay. Um, I'm a little paranoid because it's cost so much. Attaches here. Oh, they go this way. There's just not a lot of room right here no. to do that. And I don't think my... It's I, don't, I don't know if this is going to do any better. It doesn't. It hits. It's a little bit better. You can hardly turn it. Now I can get like... Eighth one, of a turn. One flat at a time. 
Um, would a regular Allen wrench work better? Probably. The front one, we also want the set screws facing the rear. Okay. So the screws are facing the rear. These should be easier if you have more room. Helps a bit. Also, we put it in the right spot. Just a little bit. So there's a rubber insulator between this one and the... Oh. Okay. The channel lock should be installed on your quilting machine. So that's going to be this right rear here. On the back. Right. How do we do? It just it goes. I forget your washer. The washer and then the wheel. So the other one goes backwards and this one goes forwards. Maybe. You want my fingernails to help you with that? Oh, you got it. Which way does it? So it locks down onto the here. So it needs to be like, I don't know. Well, look at that one over there. Okay. So it goes like, like that, right? Yeah, so you can lock it down onto the rail rack, tra tra track. And that's back on the frame thing. Okay, I'm going to pick it up. You slide that underneath. Where's the That ball thing I was talking about earlier? Yeah. This is oh. one of them. Okay.
14s. Don't have six by 14s. That's a little piece of the styrofoam on it. Don't have six by 14 screws. None of these. Are there more screws over in the this box? This says six by 16. This is a misprint up here. Okay. Okay. So, do you hear it says six by 16? You want to film this? You want to point? I'm See, pointing. I'm looking at that, but down here it's the 16s, which okay. are what we have. Okay. So, these are for the base. And we need four of them. The covers. No, you're aiming your camera wherever because you're playing. <laughs> is this this the is this the side then? Surprise! I Have don't know. I was out? just playing with it. I didn't. They're both the same, so. No, there's a left and a right. Oh, I don't know how you tell. Doesn't say it on it. Does it? So you have a curve here. Oh, I think the longer one goes on this side. But that, that works right. Goes under the little edge, or on top sure. of the ledge. Where it goes. There's a there's a ledge on this. Oh, it goes over the top. Okay. Right behind the handlebars. They are behind you, over there on top of the Legos. got wires towards the rear. The bottom, okay. Goes on this way. With those at the bottom. Because I gotta be able to use the handles. Why don't you come over here and hold these? Sure. I can do that. Put them somewhere where they're comfortable for you. Well, hang on, let me get this in here. Okay, I well, just want to... Hang on to them, sweetheart. Okay. okay, got it. All right, so now it's loose, so now adjust them to where you want. I want them right in the middle, so right there. Is that comfortable for your arms? Yes, that's where I'm tall. Right there. I don't know which is up or down. I can't see without glasses. Well, in theory, they should be idiot proof. Oh, okay, that's what we need. If 
open the handlebar levers. Twist the controls until they're comfortable. That's comfortable. Yeah. Thank you. Right. We can revisit that later. Yes. In. Oh, now on this side. Yeah, that's that's so you can tighten it. Okay. Set it's, that to wherever you so want. So then my other screen goes. I have no idea where oh. the other screen goes. <laughs> my big screen goes above. Fast one ready. Oh, let's not do that. And these two holes over here, I think. Once again, the, uh, the glare from outside is quite bright <laughs> with the sunshine and the white, but it sure is pretty yes. out there. These are the expensive parts that make all the I could all go. automation work. Zip ties. Coders and screws. I don't know if you want to pause while I read up on these. Yeah. And then while you're looking, where you've got all the different spaces and stuff. This is a part of my OCD is straightening out these stupid twisty ties. <laughs> Alright, so we are to installing the encoders, which are what measure where it moves. Right. And so we need to install the upper one first. It is actually marked upper. Okay. It is also, it says it's the one with the silver spring. And it's a purple one, so it's color coded. And this tells us where it gets plugged in up there. Cool. So the first step is like we did with the locks is we're going to take a wheel off. Really? Yep. Huh. So we take this wheel off of here. And that's going to go in your collection of wheel screws. Okay. We should there. end up with four total. Okay. And
not ruined. Well, I, I didn't want the weight off of it because yeah, you don't I am it. capable of cross-threading it. Yeah, I know. We know this. Yes, I do. I guess it might have been easier if I'd have done that. Yeah, but last time it went tipped. And that, that also, you know, it needs to be between them. Right. Right? So this is so it can all the way it. back. Okay, so we turn the lock collar this way. Okay, so see this needs to ride against there. Right. Right? So now it should reach. But we want, because right now there's nothing holding it. So this spring, that's what this one was that we loosened. Okay. Applied spring tension to hold that in place. Oh. So turn the encoder lock collar shown to point up and tighten the lock screw. So they want it right there. There and then tighten. And then so tighten. It it. So that it's holding that down. So that's against there. Right, and, then that. and then plug that into the purple. And you should get a dial tone because it looks like a phone connection, right? <laughs> so then we need to install, which is why I brought my chair back around this side. Because mm -hmm. the next one is even more fun. More or less fun. Correct. That's going to be this guy down here. And of course, taking the wheel off is the easy part. Yeah, that's when I try and get it back on. It. Ah! So that could be really heavy. And twist the twisty tie. Take it away from me before <laughs> I become obsessed. Trying to straighten it out. This one has a longer wire. Well, it's got to go up the next. And again, it says the black screw, and it also is labeled lower. Okay. Okay, and we've got... Another little sticker. Another little sticker. Hold the spring thing there. Remove. And we'll loosen that guy up. Let me go find your block of wood so you're not... No. Okay. Um, that points away. Place the encoder screw on the left rear wheel hole. So the encoder O-ring is between the wheels, so it's going to go that way. Right? Mm-hmm. That runs along, right along that. So it's going to go tucked over that way. Yeah. And the wheel goes on and all that's all the same. Probably gonna have to lift and somebody's gonna have to no, no. Well, okay, let's Do you want me to find a block of wood? I don't know. Okay. Alright, stand in the front of the machine. Okay. Like that. Okay, if I hold it. Can you hold it like that? Yes. We'll, we use that, um, is it Archimedes? Is Archimedes the, the lever guy? I couldn't tell you a lot. I think it was Archimedes. If you give me a, a lever long enough and a place to stand, I can move the world. Oh, not familiar with that one, but you have so much random stuff in your head. Okay, set it down. Again, we turn the spring till it's pointing up, right? And then, green. Is it green? I think it's green. Green. And then we've got some zip ties. And once we're right. all set here, and I think there's some things that actually attach sticky guys. Hold it. Um, so, so that one's rolling side to side and it should read and this one is rolling 
There. Okay. Okay. Yep. So putting the power cord, it goes in here. We can plug that in. That's when pretty we basic. do that, that's so now we're back going back to the frame. 